Good morning, Greater Latrobe. From the WCAT TV studio, I'm Lily Haverly alongside Emma Yurek. Coming up in today's show, school board rep applications are due tomorrow, two ninth grade biology teams competed at a local event, and reporter Andrew Hunt has today's student spotlight. All this and more on your WCAT TV News. The senior and junior high art show will be on display in the CSC now through Thursday the 27th. There will be an evening reception tonight from 5 to 7 p.m. for family and friends. Please join us for the celebration of student work. The Rising Educators Club, sponsored by St. Vincent College, will be having their next meeting on Thursday, April 27th during the first half of Lunch and Learn in Mr. Trenton's room, H203. Any student in grades 9 through 12 who is interested in the teaching profession is welcome to attend. A link to the Student Council School Board Representative application has been sent to all sophomore and junior student email addresses. Two school board reps will be selected to represent the Greater Latrobe Senior High School student body to the Board of Education for the 2023 through 2024 school year. Reps will be required to attend two school board meetings each month and will be full members of the Student Council. The digital application must be submitted by April 27th at 2.55 p.m. Also, a link to the Senior High Student Council representative application has been sent to all student email addresses. If you are interested in representing your class and serving as a Senior High Student Council representative for the 2023 through 2024 school year, please submit the digital application and printed petition by 2.55 p.m. on May 4th. Let's get a check on the weather. We go to Robert Long for your three-day forecast. Good morning, Wildcats. Today is April 26. Today we can expect it to be mostly cloudy with a high of 57 and a low of 29. Tomorrow is projected to be sunny with a high of 64 and a low of 50. And finally, this Friday we can expect rain with a high of 52 and a low of 47. That's all for your three-day forecast. Thanks and back to you. Attention juniors, on May 3rd and 4th, Timeless Photography will be in the Commons area during Lunch and Learn with information about senior pictures for the 2024 yearbook. Please stop by the table and pick up information that will contain everything you need to know about your senior yearbook photos. Attention seniors, anyone who had Dr. Baum for introduction to career pathways in 7th grade, it is time to pick up the career and personality collages that you made the first few days of class. She enjoyed looking at them and remembering all of the seniors as they were back then. Stop by her room, H104, to pick up your collage and say hi. She can't wait to see you. Are you interested in working for the Greater Latrobe School District this summer? Hours are Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. This is a 10-week program, but hours are flexible if you already have previous plans. Work includes general cleaning, moving furniture, light maintenance, and groundskeeping. The pay rate is $10.50 per hour. If you are interested, please see Mrs. Yetter for an application form and return it by Wednesday, May 3rd. If you are a senior who is planning to major in education, you are eligible to apply for the GLEA scholarship. Look for application information on the Guidance Office scholarship site. Please see Mrs. Kubis if you have any questions and be sure to turn in your application form to her in room H108 by the end of the day today. In addition, many more scholarships are coming into the Guidance Office at this time. Please check the district scholarship page regularly. The Westmoreland County Coaches Association raises funds from their county championship events in order to provide scholarships to athletes from Westmoreland County. The WCCA expects to award seven to nine scholarships, ranging in value from $500 up to $2,000. See Mr. Simpson for information and for an application. The deadline for submission is May 1st. We go to Jacob Kramer for the Wildcat Sports Report. Good morning, Wildcats. Today, the varsity boys tennis team has their Whitfield doubles matches. Time is to be determined. Then, the varsity softball team plays at four at Franklin Regional. Finally, the varsity boys volleyball team has an away game at Deer Lakes at 7.30. In national sports news in the MLB, there are 14 games. Headlining the night is the Pittsburgh Pirates in Pittsburgh versus the Dodgers at 6.35 p.m. In the NHL, there are two games. Headlining the night is the Seattle Kraken versus the Colorado Avalanche in Denver at 9.30 p.m. Finally, in the NBA, there are four games. Headlining the night is the Golden State Warriors versus the Sacramento Kings in San Francisco at 10 p.m. That's all for sports news. Thanks and back to you. Thanks, Jacob. 
RYLA is a week-long immersive camp sponsored by our local Rotary Club, which provides opportunities for team building, leadership development, service, moral and ethical identification, personal development, and problem solving. The LaRoche track is set at the University of Pittsburgh, utilizing the campus facilities. Participants grow as a team, as well as critically challenge their strengths and skills throughout the workshops, projects, service projects, and social activities. Rising high school juniors and seniors are encouraged to apply. The outdoor odyssey track is set in the beautiful mountains of Boswell. Surrounded by nature, participants hone their decision-making skills through practical applications while growing as a team. All high school age students are welcome to apply to outdoor odyssey. Applications are open for the summer of 2023 program. Visit RYLA7305.org to apply for either program. Please contact Mrs. Yetter if you have any questions. Wondering what's on the menu today? Here is Taryn Yotzi with What's Cooking. What's Cooking, Latrobe? Today is Wednesday, April 26th. Today in the main line, they have Crazy Dipper Day with all your favorites. Chicken tenders, cheese sticks with a crunchy breadstick and sauce. Tomorrow they will have a Fiesta Chicken Quesadilla. The sandwich options are hamburger, cheeseburger, and chicken patty. The pizza options are homemade cheese and pepperoni pizza. The grab and go bar has fresh salads and deli hoagies. The soup of the day is chicken dumpling. That's what's cooking. Thanks and back to you. On Thursday, April 20th, two ninth grade biology teams competed in the Westmoreland County Envirothon. Teams competed in areas including soils, wildlife, aquatics, fly fishing, current issues, and more. This was their first time competing and both teams did great. They scored 12th out of 24 and 14th out of 24, often competing against upperclassmen. Students who participated include Ryan Lehman, Josie Garofalo, Autumn Blaswich, Ruby Tingle, Bevan Stairs, Elise Wolfgang, Carly Clark, Kelsey McKellen, Matilda Price, and Gabby Simone Lurito. Great work. Three students from Greater La Trobe Senior High successfully auditioned through several rigorous festival rounds throughout the year to progress to the Pennsylvania Music Educators Association All-State Event at Kalahari Convention Center in the Poconos. Two junior students, Nathan Trishura, tenor, and Abigail Wolfgang, soprano, sang in the All-State Chorus, and Regina Zeza, a sophomore, played trumpet at All-State Orchestra. Greater La Trobe is honored to have such talented young people representing our school and community. Congratulations, Nathan, Abby, and Regina. Growing up as the child of a state trooper surely comes with a unique set of experiences. Here is reporter Andrew Hans with today's Student Spotlight. Jake Lamonti's dad, state trooper Steve Lamonti, has been a big inspiration to him throughout his entire life. Well, first of all, he's a very hard worker, and that's like his main thing that he teaches me. And, and him, and he inspires me to do well in school and to just get good grades and just be a better person by working as hard as you can every day. Along with being a Pennsylvania State Trooper, Jake's dad is also a busy real estate agent. You may see his face on signs out in our community. Well, he's not just a State Trooper. He's also a real estate agent, and he has gone out a lot of the day, but he's he's at his he's at the house. He does a lot of computer work. He's he is there a good bit of the day. Like his dad, Jake also has a busy schedule. His dad has taught him to stay disciplined in school while still being able to play sports. Well, between sports and school, um, I use my free sets very wisely. I do all my I do my work during the time. I have a decent bit of homework, but I make sure that the days I'm not doing a sport, I am doing my homework and make sure I'm cleaning all my assignments on time. It is very easy to be distracted while trying to do schoolwork, but Jake does his best to stay on task. He wants to continue doing well in school so he can continue his future plans. Well, I plan to go to Penn State for college and once I get out of college, I'm hoping that I can um, go under my dad's wing and take over his uh, real estate uh, business that he's grown. As Jake continues to be inspired by his dad and follow in his footsteps, he appreciates their time together and looks forward to growing his real estate business. Seniors are asked to check their emails and complete the Student Council and High Post Senior Edition survey by the end of the day today. Thanks for tuning in to this edition of WCAT-TV News. Have a great day, Latrobe. We are GL. Go Wildcats!